A physical disability is an impairment which limits the physical function of one or more limbs or fine or gross motor ability. Some people may have hidden, non-visible disabilities, which limit facets of daily living such as pulmonary disease, respiratory disorders, epilepsy, and other limiting conditions. Some physical disabilities are genetic. Others result from being born premature, birth complications, accidents, or diseases. An adaptive device is any structure, design, instrument, contrivance, or equipment that enables a person with a disability to function independently. People with various kinds of physical disabilities sometimes have trouble doing ordinary activities like eating, drinking, clothing, bathing, and picking things up. They may require adaptive tools to perform daily tasks. Large button phone, remote control, and calculator. Who might find this kind of equipment useful? Typically with disabilities involving the hands, bigger is easier and better. It is easier to hold the device, see the buttons, and hit the correct numbers. These items are just like the items you use, but they are adapted to meet the needs of people who have a physical disability. Button tool with shirt. This device is used to help button or zip clothing. Try to button the shirt using the adaptive tool. Adaptive tool to hold toothbrush. For a person who cannot hold anything, this tool can be used to hold a variety of items. Try holding the toothbrush with the soft tubing. The tubing can be cut to fit anything with a handle such as a spoon or a hairbrush. What else do you think you could hold with this tool? Adaptive cups. Sippy cups can be used for people who have tremors. Nosy cups and tipped cups are for people who are unable to bend their neck back to drink. Weighted cups are used for people who have an impaired sense of touch from nerve damage and are able to feel heavier items better than lighter items. Adaptive plates and spoons. Use the different spoons to pick up the beads. It is easier to get food on a utensil when the plate has a side that you can push the food up against. Adaptive spoons. Some spoons are heavy and others are bent for people with limited arm movement. The swivel spoon helps people who have tremors. The curved and long-handled utensils help people who have limited range of motion. The coated utensils help people who are temperature sensitive or may accidentally hit their teeth often. Prosthetics. An artificial limb is a type of prosthesis that replaces a missing extremity such as arms or legs. The type of artificial limb used is determined largely by the extent of an amputation or loss and location of the missing extremity. Artificial limbs may be needed for a variety of reasons including disease, 
accidents, and congenital disorders. Brace. A brace is an appliance that gives support to movable parts, as a joint or a fractured bone, to weak muscles, as in paralysis, or to strained ligaments, as of the lower back. Assist kids in trying on a couple of the braces and talk about how it feels to wear the brace and to do tasks such as walking, bending over to pick something up, sitting down, etc. Foot braces. Show the ankle foot orthotics, which are for people with nerve damage in their leg. The result of this type of nerve damage is called a foot drop. Some children are born with foot drop when the perineal nerve is damaged and as a result are unable to pull their foot into the position it is supposed to be in. Instead, the toe points down like you're walking on your tiptoes. Back brace. Some of the different reasons a person might need a back brace would be scoliosis or curvature of the spine or weak back muscles. Leg brace and double leg brace. This brace is one that goes all the way up to your hips. Some people who normally use wheelchairs can stand up when using a double leg brace. A person with a physical disability may require assertive devices such as a wheelchair, crutches, walker, braces, or a cane to obtain mobility. Wheelchair course. Set the brake on the wheelchair before the student gets on or off the chair. Release the brake before the student begins to move the chair. The student should assume that their legs are immobile. Travel along the gym floor through various obstacles, through a door, and then back to the starting point. If possible, do not assist the students while they travel the course.